Uh, let's uh, big news over the weekend or the big story around the Oilers over the weekend. Team didn't play. Yeah. Jack Campbell was certainly making headlines. Uh, we got the gold <clears throat> up here that had everybody going bananas on Which Twitter. Which one, Tyler? Uh, let's do one nothing first, Aaron. Let's do the one nothing goal first. Uh, you know, this had everyone freaking out. I though all last week I said it's too early to call up Campbell. Wait until the end of December. I guess I'll start with this because you watch these Condors games and I don't watch the full games. Was is this goal and cherry picking it the way I am? Is that unfair towards Campbell right now, or is he still miles away from being NHL ready? So you you didn't see the second goal then? You know? ah, there you go, Aaron. Show us uh, the. <laughs> is this the other one? And, Might not be sure because they're the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This 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 is the one where you can just look at watch his body language after the school. Yeah. Oh yeah. It just it's so <clears throat> it's. I mean, is it cherry picking? The answer is no. Um, those are just goals that can't go in. You know, it, it, it the the irony, even with Stu Skinner this year, is that this team has played so well in certain games, only to be defeated. And and again, their the mentality of the team is a little bit was a little bit fragile. I still think is a little bit fragile. And then the goalie giving up a, a soft one. It, for lots of teams, maybe they get by that. This team, for whatever reason, started in a this season not in a great mind space. And so when that was happening, you know, they would react even worse than anybody else would. And so it, those goals can't go in. They just can't go in. So, you know, is it cherry picking? I don't know. I, I, I think you're trying to match that up against what you need in Edmonton, right? Uh, I said somewhere that I, honest to God, I'd be, I'd be more comfortable with Olivier Rodrigue's spot starting when Skinner was tired, quite frankly, you know, and it's not to, it's, it's not to minimize what Jack Campbell is, you know, could do like, you know, he, he had a great game on Tuesday night. Like it was three power play goals against him. I think he had a, 919 and 929 save percentage so he's fine um but again it's it's you, you just need somebody who just is going to give you a same consistent game you know night in night out and I, I you know right now i'm just not sure where he is mentally and you know in his ability to do that so i say leave him down there yeah i think you got to leave him down there till the new year quite frankly <laughs> He's just such a wild card. I, I don't yeah. see how the Oilers can be in the position totally. right now that they're in and think, you know what, Jack Campbell could probably help us right now. Well, it's, it's not like Pickard's been terrible. Like, no, he, like the one start, fine. the one relief appearance has been okay. Like, I think you can probably, if you need to give Skinner a rest for a couple of games here at some point, which you will, you mm -hmm. can probably trust Pickard to some extent, right? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I mean, he's a bit of a, he, you know, like he, to some degree, he carries a little bit of the way Jack Campbell plays, right? It's a little bit more of a, a circus type environment in front of his net. Uh, that said, I mean, I don't think he's really, you know, a, a, he's not probably carrying the mental baggage that the Jack is now, right? And, you know, at this moment anyways, and B, you know, there is a little bit of that, you know, let's win one for our goalie because we really know where he's supposed to be kind of a thing. So could you spot that in here and there? Sure. And again, just a caveat, this discussion is happening in December. This this can't be the discussion in March. It just can't be, right? Like if Stuart Skinner, you know, pulls a groin muscle in, you know, late March and, you know, the Oilers are now in a playoff spot, like what are we doing? Like, <laughs> I mean, honestly right <laughs> yeah like that is another part of it too injuries happen um i'm not a mers lickens guy i hate that contract i think even if columbus takes back jack campbell i just i don't know if you really want to go down that route maybe if you're a believer in spencer martin that's the guy but i don't know are, like are you higher on mers lickens than me no no i mean i think you're just aren't you just adding jack campbell I don't, I don't quite get that, right? Like Spencer Martin is kind of in, intriguing to me. 
quite frankly, um, only because I just need to spot start them every once in a while. Right. Like, yeah. you know, I, I am personally a big believer in Stuart Skinner. Um, you know, has he been good enough this year? No, he hasn't been good enough, but the team hasn't been good enough in front of him. And I think it's just a kind of a combination of things. I think he'll sort his way through it. So the Spencer Martin thing kind of intrigues me. Merzlikens, no, that's just Jack Campbell again. <laughs>